So why is it that nobody can seem to make a decent commentary on Halo fan lately? The Combat Corporation votes in the nitpick which speaks for itself. Dan Steins is a contender for my worst list of the year. And then we have Lucas C, who is the now cousin of Dwebley. So I didn't make a commentary on him too. Well, that's the goodness, I couldn't bring myself to care with a Dwebley commentary after all, but... Ugh, I felt the need to counter one particular point made in the beginning because it irks me far too much. Hello guys, this is AwesomeFan1997 here. I know my username says ps 4 fan 3 10 but when years go by, I might change my name to AwesomeFan1997. When? Well, you see. When you're Kaden, so today's commentary is on Kongi Miller, and he made a rant video on Sean Sampson. So anyways guys, let's begin! So instead of changing your username, you're just going to address yourself as AwesomeFan1997. Sure, why not? In all seriousness, I want to address something right off the bat. You have no background. It really shouldn't be this hard to enlarge a picture in your editor, and it's important because it will remove the black space behind your avatar pictures. You have also proven in previous videos that you can add backgrounds, so there is no excuse for this. And to prove it, I'm just going to remove my background to show how appealing this looks. And after all, show, don't tell. Do what? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to call you Lucas. Lucas, there is so much wrong with this one point that I don't know where to start. Okay, first off, let's start off the last part of this interjection. So you tell Halo from the show, not tell. This is why I left in all of the context leading up to this point, because as you'll notice, all Halo fam was doing prior to your interjection was introducing the target of his video. Along with something about his name changing, I don't know, it's relevant to the point as a whole. With that being said, what was Halo fan telling exactly? When one uses a show don't tell point, it makes logical sense for the target to have not shown evidence or something of that sort. As such, this point holds no meaning here as all Halo fan was doing was, as I said earlier, providing the audience with context. Even putting that aside, this would still make no sense as the situational issue of this complaint was built around Halo fan having no background. So how could you tell a background? TODR, your wording sucks. Then there's the overall issue that you have with Halo fan. I'd like to bring attention to your own change of background here. So tell me, what makes you like a background whatsoever unappealing? From my perspective at least, it looks fine. Your white image of Vizero blends in with the background, and considering how the original background you had wasn't actually moving, there's no noticeable difference. Plus, here's a hypothetical scenario. Say Halo fan believes the viewers want to actually watch this video, as in, not just background noise, but the video itself, and as such he wants to focus it primarily be on the avatar images and the avatar images alone. The game without a background behind him, he makes it so that the attention is solely on the images of Master Chief he uses. What if he's using Movie Maker, which in itself makes it hard to do the advice you give him? My largest issue with this point though would have to be the lack of elaboration whatsoever. What exactly is it that makes a black background image only commentary so bad? Does it make it look worse? Like if that's the case, and that's a mostly subjective reason, and it bugs me, especially here, because through the way you word it, it's making it sound as if the whole me background thing is a requirement. I legitimately see no reason why the lack of a background is a sin worth pointing out. Honestly, this point is peering out of garbage, final thoughts. No! I can hear you.